Okay, what we have here is uh, Easy Scan 6000 from Auto X ray automotive scanner. Uh, what, what you'll be getting with the auction is a scanner. Everything you see here the scanner, onboard two cable, which works from 96 up vehicles. Right now I have connected to the car. Uh, the manual, Easy PC 500, which is used to update the scanner, do software updates, and you can help diagnose your problem with that software. This is a cable to connect to your computer. It's a GM Onboard One cable, and you get this case. Okay, I'm going to go through the functions of the scanner here, so just so you can see that it works properly. First you have to configure it for your vehicle, <coughs> select configure units, and select your vehicle, this is a 96 Ford Thunderbird. So, 96 Ford Thunderbird uses an onboard two. <clears throat> I'm going to do a scan. Press the scan button. Then press enter. Selects the proper protocol for the vehicle. Okay, when it's done scanning, it'll show you the diagnostic trouble codes, which this car has none. So it's uh, saying the uh, malfunction light is off. Okay, I'm going to go through some of the functions of the scanner. Besides being a scanner, you can also monitor your engine while it's running and also record some of that information and play it back later. Press the data key, you can get your operational data, freeze frame data, trouble codes, clear your codes, customize data, or easy PC. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go to operational data. And these are some of the different things that it'll monitor while the engine's running or while you're driving the vehicle. And depending on the vehicle, this is a 96 Ford Thunderbird, older car, so it doesn't have as many things to monitor. Um, some of the newer vehicles, you can monitor more. So here it's telling you your coolant temperature, fuel trims, vehicle speed, RPM, long short-term fuel trims. Throttle position, sensor position, as you see, as I hit the gas, it'll change. Action sensor data, you can see the sensor data changing. Tell you if your air conditioning is on. Uh, four wheel, that's for a four wheel drive vehicle if it's engaged or not. Power steering load, trans control, malfunction indicator lights, your cooling fans, AC clutch, air pump, transmission, shift solenoids for your transmission your uh, barometric pressure which would be your map sensor your IAC idle air control valve throttle position sensor fuel trims spark advance O2 sensors output shaft 
basically your RPM of your drive shaft. Um, this one tells you also your how much torque your engine is making. You can see as I step on the gas, it goes up and down. And I think that really is when you're in drive, it'll give you a more realistic reading. Okay, those are some of the data. Freeze frame data. No freeze frame because we didn't have any diagnostic trouble codes. Clears your trouble codes. We don't have any, so we can't clear any. And then for monitor. Okay, let me get this monitor button here. That allows you to capture data so you can review it later, records it, plays it back later. That works, you just hit enter. Start your capture. Okay, it's capturing the data right now. Say if you're having a problem accelerating, what you can do is take the car, drive it, step on the gas a little, capture the data, play it back, view it, view data. And here's the frozen data. From that capture. That'll help you diagnose your problem. Then they have all two sensor testing. Uh, some vehicles are capable of that and some aren't, depending on your model. Uh, readiness testing. Basically onboard two electronics go through readiness tests when you first start it up, testing it your sensors, etc. And vehicle information and test results. Okay, so here's what's included in the auction. You get this case, the owner's manual, ECPC software, GM onboard one cable, onboard two cable, which works with all 96 up vehicles and your computer cable. Of course, the scanner itself. And this is a. If you can see that, there's a serial number scanner.